Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to NewYorkTimes.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more, more videos. Alright everyone, we have the results and we are going to fill in our map according to the New York Times like my baby doll says. So let's get to that map. Who do you guys want to win? Tell us in the comments right now. We'll give you a five second start. Five, four, three, two, one. Post that comment right now. We have on our map, the blues are for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls and Democrats. These states that are going to lean blue are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Virginia, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of D.C. We also have the Reds for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, Florida, South Carolina, and parts of Maine are red for Donald J. Trump. And if I forgot Texas, I'm going to say Texas too. If I already said it, oh well. That leaves Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia unmarked. But we're going to fill them in according to the New York Times. So we have Nevada with six electoral votes, they are tied in. So it will not be colored in, according to the New York Times. Arizona has Trump at a plus two lead, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, according to the New York Times. I think I said New York Post earlier. <laughs> I meant New York Times, sorry. Wisconsin is tied. Between the two candidates, it's too close to call. Michigan, according to the New York Times, has Harris at a one-point lead, giving her the 15 electoral votes in Michigan, putting her ahead of Donald J. Trump's 230 right now. We have Georgia, according to the New York Times. Trump is a plus one in Georgia, giving him the 16 electoral votes, Georgia being red for Donald J. Trump. He lost it in 2020 by less than 1%, I believe. North Carolina, according to the New York Times, North Carolina is tied. It is too close to call. Right now, Kamala Harris is 241 to Donald J. Trump's 246. They've been going back and forth in this video so far, and we haven't filled in that many states. The tiebreaker, hopefully, will be Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes. According to the New York Times, Pennsylvania is, oh, no. Pennsylvania is tied, according to the New York Times polling. It is too close to call. So, as of right now, according to the New York Times polling, Donald J. Trump is winning 246 to Kamala Harris is 241. That means in order to win the election, they need to win Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Wisconsin, any of those three, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, or North Carolina, they win. Or you can win Pennsylvania and North Carolina and win the election. Or you can do Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and win the election. But let's see what happens if we filled in North Carolina and Wisconsin red for Donald J. Trump. Let's see that. That would put him at 272. All right. So let's put him gray and make him blue. Wisconsin and North Carolina. That would give 267 in Pennsylvania. Make it blue. That would give her 286 to his 246. Now to make him gray again, Wisconsin, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. We were just giving you an example of what states they would need in order to win the election with the current numbers. So that makes, as of right now, the New York Times winner is Donald J. Trump with 246 to Kamala Harris' 241. With Four states not colored in or tied, according to their polling. How does this make you feel? Are you angry or are you happy with the results right now that Donald J. Trump is in the lead, according to the New York Times? Type those comments right now. I don't care if you've already told us who you want to win. Tell us how you feel in a new comment about the end results. As always, I'm your highly illustrious, forever perfected, Nirvana, Buddhist-loving, President Ross.
And I'm Bags. And we are out. Woo!